Warning, this episode of Stovepipe Outdoors contains scenes involving high drama and bad dad jokes. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, welcome back. So, today, Soap Out Outdoors has his first guest. Here he is. <laughs> oh, hi. It's time, guy. <laughs> All right. Thanks for the warning. Yeah. Our first video. Is this a collab? No. This is you're co-producing. Co-producing? Why can't I be a collab? Because you don't have a YouTube channel. So, I'm a co-producer. Yeah. All right, so we wanted to make a video to um, to record your first high school fishing tournament and um, ran into a few problems, ran into a few problems, not from a lack of preparation. Uh, we were prepared when we went out to go fish. Um, we we got the coastus, right? I mean, Luke has coastus. We can see through water like we're looking through glass. We... Um, what else did we do? We had a... Uh, oh, we had our bait truck here. Had our baits and um, the... Uh, whoa! No, 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 no. Solomon said, don't give away any secrets, so we're not going to do that. But we did have baits. Um, oh, we had our electronics. I even took a class on the electronics. What was the biggest lesson I learned on the electronics? Oh, yeah. that uh, We have a... Death finder for a kayak. That he basically a nice way of calling me a cheapskate. Basically said this is made for a kayak, not a twenty foot boat. But not that we were prepared. Uh, we went out, we pre fished the first day, trying to find out. You, you go out the day before, they they open up the lake, and you you look to see where the fish are. So the next day when you go out on the tournament, you know where the fish are, right? The only problem with that strategy for us was. We didn't catch any fish. We didn't catch any fish on the pre day. Now, granted, we were only out there for an hour, but at least Luke got to drive around and we had a good time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we tried to prepare. We went to Walmart, and we were going to take some video of us buying the snacks necessary um, to give us the stamina to fish all day. And while we were trying to record that, Luke got distracted, as you'll see in the video, right? Um, I said, let's record it for posterity's sake, and I think he thought we said posterior. And um, uh, so uh, then we ran into another problem when we went to the hotel, right? What was our problem when we first pulled in? Uh, no parking. No parking. And we have a huge boat pulling behind us. Normally, when we stop in Jasper, we have they have the host hotels have places for your to park your boat. So I asked this lady at the account that the register checking us in, can we park our boat? She said, sure. She goes, you're in luck because the the church group, the church uh, seminar just left and they went to eat and they all cleared out the parking lot. So just find you a couple of spaces and line your boat up. So we did. And what happened the next morning? Some lady blocked us off. Some old lady parked right up next to our boat. We got some guy behind us and got in front of us. I mean, we were locked in. Um, so that was fun, and there were other parking spaces open, so I think they were just doing it to teach us a lesson. And um, uh, little did they know, we had plenty of lessons to learn that day as it was anyway. So we went out, and we were going to record this video. It was a beautiful morning when we went out, right? Was uh, What was the weather like, Luke? Was it, uh... <laughs> it was cold. <laughs> it's cold. Luke told his mother that he did not need a jacket. Stovepipe Outdoors is tough. I don't know if y'all know that. He is tough. Even when it's 38 degrees outside, we're running 45 miles an hour across the, the lake with the cold wind, bringing that windshield down to like the 20s. Stovepipe Outdoors does not need extra layers of protection, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. We get out there, we start fishing. We find nine people in our fishing hole, right? This was our place. We were going, there's nine people, and um, we, we end up 
Well, what was the biggest problem with the, with making this a video about the fishing tournament? Oh, we didn't catch any fish. All right, stat review. We caught 15 of nothing. Yeah, that's a common theme. I mean, we didn't catch any fish, okay? So, hey, we did the next best thing we could, okay? We pulled out the, uh, the drone, got some good footage of this going around the lake, and we're having a good time until we realized that there was a problem. And that's where things get interesting, right? All right, take us to the video. Oh, 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 oh. can I do it? Sure. All right. We'll see you on the other side. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> both boat numbers because the other team didn't get here until midnight last night. Well, because we needed some additional footage, you know, some nice drone over the boat as we power down the river footage, we had not caught any fish so we did not see the uh, urgency to arrive at 3 o'clock for the weigh-in. However, because we have both of their boat numbers they're about to be disqualified if we don't get there in about three minutes which according to Siri we've got about 29 minutes to go so every time they've called in the last 40 minutes we said we have about 20 minutes to go hey bud yeah we got stuck behind this manure spitter but it says we we got about 20 minutes to be there you got are right, they're in line. Uh -huh. Hey, we got stuck behind this truck. It's going to be about 20 minutes before we can get there. <laughs> You're funny. Oh my god. <laughs> that was funny, David. That no, no, funny. we really got 20 minutes. It's going to be 20 minutes. <laughs> How many times are you going to say that? Well, it's what it is. Seriously, how much longer? 20 minutes. <laughs> you're kidding me. Huh? You have to be kidding. Look, it says 26 minutes because we're going behind this guy. There's a work zone. We're in a work zone, Erica. <laughs> All right, our problem right now is uh, we're trying to get Carson and Chandler to give a shout out to Stovepipe Outdoors, and uh, Carson's not doing it. He won't tell Chandler, he won't even ask, so we're going to try and go around Carson and see what we can do here. I'm going to give Erica a call. Yeah. Hey, uh, do, do you see the boys? Yeah. Um, so Luke is trying to, uh, he was trying to get Carson to give a shout out to Snowpipe Outdoors when they get up there. Oh yeah, I could live You think you could uh you think you could pull some Oh we're almost we about missed that damn road. <laughs> Let's take care of some. Sam Rayburn is a reservoir in the United States in deep east Texas, seventy miles north of Beaumont. The reservoir is fed by the Angelina River, I think. The major tributary of the Nature's River and it's the largest lake wholly within the state of Texas. The dam can be crossed by traveling along Texas, High Texas State Highway 255. Right there. Or as my dad likes to call it, the dam river. That's the damn spillway right there. Wait, wait a minute. You know what? This table would feel a lot better with like glass over it, you know. You know what? Hey. Have you ever thought of this is the moment of truth. Yeah, one last time. What was either, either they're gonna give a shout out or they're not getting dinner. 8.83 on 5, 883 across the stage. 
Chandler Green and Carson Stovall from Vanguard. Outdoor video ever. This is the Snowfire Outdoors.